And in like the movie world, everything is a meltdown until it's not a meltdown. There's no food. Meltdown. The actors aren't ready. Meltdown. We have to change lenses. Meltdown. My name is Winston Duke, and this is everything I do in a day. I'm up at maybe 5.30. I tend to always have an alarm. And if I don't have an alarm, someone's gonna come and wake me up. Like they'll be like knocking on the door. They'll be like, what are you doing? I like to pray in the morning before I do anything and just center myself. And then I'll get up and brush my teeth. I'll spend like 12, 15 minutes brushing my teeth, especially my tongue. I've learned a lot of people don't brush their tongues, which is weird for me. Your tongue, is one of your body's natural detoxing centers, which is why you get morning breath. So you gotta brush it, you gotta clean it, you gotta help it help you. So I'll use the manual toothbrush, a bamboo brush, just get all the things off my teeth and off my tongue, and then I feel like I really give it a polishing with the Sonicare vibrating brush. So I brush it twice. And then I use this special like breath rinks. I grew up uh, going to like inner city high schools where kids will play you by going, mm, your breath stank. So I never wanted to get caught by someone being like, your breath stank. Early morning beauty routines. I definitely get the beard oil and the beard balms to like soften the beard, right? Comb through it. Little home secret, and I'm not gonna be ashamed to let anyone know. I use Rogaine on my beard, like I have little spots. So I just, I use Rogaine usually to put in my beard and then comb through it. That's one of the tricks they use on set if they wanna grow your beard in pre-production for production. So they would usually do that and I just do that naturally now. After I do beard care, I'll just put on a serum and a really good moisturizer that has sunscreen in it just to protect. So I don't spend too much time in the morning on the skin after my 12 minute mouth session. And no one better edit that to mean anything else. Right away, I get some protein in my body when I wake up after I do everything. Typical breakfast for me is three eggs, maybe scrambled, some meat, and some sauteed veggies somehow with a little bit of avocado on the side. It's all measured out like grams of protein, grams of fat, grams of this, grams of that. So I don't enjoy food that much anymore. I tend to change my body a lot for the jobs that I do, so either gain weight or lose weight, which means that food has become really functional for me rather than for pleasure and sometimes community and hangouts and kickbacks and all that. I'll try to eat and go to the gym right away. So if I'm on set, I'll go work out with my trainer. If I'm at my house, I'll just go straight to my garage where I have all my fitness equipment and I'll start working out, jump on my rower, get a little burn in and start going doing my thing. Yeah, 6.30 to about 7.30. If it's a short workout, maybe 6.30 to 7. But those short workouts hurt. So they're short for a reason. Heavy lifting, big burn, and you can make 20 minutes into something that it takes you an hour to recover from. I don't like working out. I do it again because it's fun <laughs> functional. <laughs> but if you just left me alone, I would just be eating and sleeping and I'd be happy. I'd be very, very happy. Once I'm done with the gym, I definitely go and I shower. I might put on these recovery boots that like compress and like flush lactic acid out of your body. I might use like a little uh, Theragun on my muscles because I get back pain. And I just start recovery right away after and eat. So I fuel up right after. And my body tends to feel incredible. There's no better feeling than eating when your body actually needs the fuel. I'll get like a protein shake. I'll get as much meat as I can. I found this really great barbecue place close to me recently. So I'll just order like a big container of maybe like 40 drumsticks of their smoked drumsticks. And I'll eat like the drumsticks after like maybe four or five drumsticks. I arrive at set maybe around eight o'clock. I'll go straight into hair and makeup where, you know, depending on the character, if I have tattoos, if I have just, you know, face stuff to do only, you know, that may take anywhere from 30 minutes, 40 minutes to two hours. I am listening to music. I make a playlist for each character. That helps me just stay in one particular zone. 
I love listening to movie scores. So I'll just listen to movie scores while I'm uh, getting my makeup done, and it keeps me in that space where I'm feeling and thinking really cinematically about my character. I really love the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie score. Dun, 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 dun. It's very like big. The Avengers movie score is really beautiful as well. Forrest Gump music uh, movie score is incredible. The Crown has an incredible movie score. Insecure has a really great soundtrack. So every season they come out with these great soundtracks from the artists that they pull for each episode. And I love listening to those. I'll then go back to my trailer. So the common stereotype of being on a movie set is hurry up and wait. And that happens to actually be true. You tend to get there and they're setting up and you're really being, you're really getting ready for the shot to be ready. We tend to have like a general short rehearsal right before we shoot a scene. So I allow myself to just be calm right before I do that. And that turns into, you know, some of the preparation with the scene partner and the director in that moment. And shooting a scene, it's very dependent on the type of movie and the budget. So a very enjoyable uh, experience for me was Nine Days, a movie I did recently. It was about 118 pages and we shot that in about 24 days. And I was in every single scene of the movie, which means that I had zero downtime. A lot of the fun around your work comes after the job is done. 10 p.m., I get out of makeup, leave around maybe 11.30. I eat in the car on the way home because I'm usually starving after like that entire process. Moment I get home, I maybe I'll take a shower. Nighttime routines, I'll try to do another short session on my face, like put on a nice serum, more Rogaine, and then I'll try to brush and comb my beard maybe 30 to 50 times. Because like I said, those patchy spaces, they do not want to come in. So I'm always like just working on it and I will get in bed and I'll just go through my script until I fall asleep with my script in my hand. If I feel like being bad, I'll maybe watch like one of my guilty pleasures being anime. I'm watching a lot of One Piece and I'm watching a lot of Mob Psycho and that'll knock me out like middle of the series. It's just to like not think at all and do something, you know? I'm a very vivid dreamer. So I'll be like, yeah, I went to the moon last night on like a rocket ship made out of Fruit Loops. Like, I'm not like, it's like random stuff. The craziest dream I had recently, I think I spent three months in a dream. Three months passed, like I had three months of memories, like doing things, going places, meeting people. Three months in a dream, that's crazy.